Okay, let's continue with number 4. Okay, diagram 2 show a spring with an original length of 20 cm. When a 5 kg load is placed on a spring, the spring length becomes 16 cm. Okay, so at first is 20 cm. When you put a 5 kg load, it becomes 16 cm. Unfortunately, there is some problem with this question. The problem is, uh, if you use 5 kg, you will not be able to get any answer. So, we have to change this into 50 kg. Okay, 50 kg. Okay, now. So, calculate the elastic potential energy. So, we can calculate elastic potential energy by using the equation half Fx. So, this is a force that is acting on the spring and this is the extension of the spring. Or, in this case, is the compression of the spring. Okay, so half F is the force. In this case, the force is the weight of this 50 kg object. Okay, so the weight of 50 kg object is 500 Newton. Alright, so we put in 500 for the force. And then the extension, or in this case the compression, is 4 cm. Okay, from 20 cm, change to 16 cm, so compress 4 cm. Okay, so um, when you want to put in here, you must change the centimeter into meter. So 4 cm is equal to 0 0.04 meter. So solving this, you can get the answer is how many joule. Okay. Now, let's go to the next question. Okay, the next question is a 500 kg of car with velocity of V km per hour possess 70 kJ of energy. Calculate the velocity of the car. Okay, so we have the mass, we have the uh, energy so in this case is kinetic energy so we want to calculate the velocity of the car all right okay so all right so the we calculate the kinetic energy by using this equation okay half mv square so the kinetic energy is given which is 70 kilojoule so 70 kilojoule is 70 thousand joule half the mass is 500 kilogram and then the Velocity is the one that we are looking for. Alright, so the velocity will be okay, half. Okay, this is divided by 2. Move over here, it will become multiplied by 2. Multiply by 500. Move over there, become divided by 500. This one square. Move over here, become square root. Okay, so how many meter per second? You see that the answer that we get is in the unit of meter per second because the information that they give us in kilojoule, okay, joule is uh, joule is an SI unit, and then the mass in kilogram is also SI unit. So the answer that we get will also be in SI unit, meter SI unit, second SI unit. Okay. However, the answer that we want is in kilogram per hour. So that means we have to convert this 
how many meter per second into how many kilometer per hour okay so this is 16.733 uh, there's uh, more but we can shorten it up we can round off become 16.733 meter per second okay and then we need to convert this 16.733 meter per second into kilometer per hour okay so 16 Point seven three three meter per second change into kilometer per hour. All right. So sixteen point seven three three meter per one second. This is meter per second. All right. So sixteen point seven three three change to kilometer. Okay divide 1000 become kilometer and second change to hour times oh sorry also divide 3600 seconds so you get hour okay so by solving this you will get the answer is 60 point two three eight eight kilometer per hour so the nearest answer will be 60 kilometer per hour okay this is the answer